Welcome guys, today's video is one that has been requested quite a bit. It is a fresh overview of the recoil of the 10 different full auto assault rifles in PUBG. The video will be short since you've already seen all my testing methods before, where I shoot 5 times at a wall using optimal and identical attachments where possible, mark out the bullets on the wall and then put them together to recoil trees. Doing this for every single full auto assault rifle looks like this. The highest vertical recoil is to be found on the AKM Grosa Barrel and K2. In the middle you'll find the QBZ, SCAR-L, G36C, M416 and ACE. And all by itself you have the AUK, which has the absolute lowest recoil of them all. But simply looking at the vertical recoil like this can be misleading since the weapons have different rates of fire. That means the time it takes for the gun to travel along the recoil path varies. The higher the rate of fire, the more difficult it will be to control. If we take the total vertical climb and divide that by the time it takes for the gun to climb along this path, we get the vertical climb index, which is sort of a difficulty indicator for the vertical recoil alone. But another important part of how difficult it is to control the vertical kick of a weapon is the first bullet jump. The first bullet jump of the different weapons look like this. This jump is critical since the larger it is, the more you have to compensate to regain control of your weapon when you initiate a spray. If we are to make a small equation for how difficult it is to control the weapon's vertical recoil, then we need to take this into account too. So, the total vertical climb of the weapon divided by the time it takes for it to climb over 30 bullets fired, multiplied with the first bullet jump, divided by how fast it makes that jump. According to this equation, the most difficult vertical recoil to control across a full 30 bullet spray down is to be found on the Grosa, which is mainly because it has a very high rate of fire and have a very high vertical climb. But I personally wouldn't say the Grosa is more difficult to control than let's say a barrel. And this is because we're lacking the horizontal recoil in this equation, how much it varies and how much the screen shakes and so on. I did play around with this equation for a few hours, but it will take a lot of time to develop a proper equation that defines the difficulty of gun control in PUBG. But then again, that might be overkill, because if we simply look at these charts, I think we have a pretty realistic picture of the difficulty of the different assault rifles in PUBG. That's all I had for you today, guys. I hope you found it interesting. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.